بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد معاوية رضي الله تعالى عنه may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with him and all the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and I wanted to just briefly mention some narrations that are in Bukhari about Muawiyah رضي الله تعالى عنه narrated Ibn Abu Mulaika Muawiyah offered one rakah with her prayer after the Isha prayer and at that time a freed slave of Ibn Abbas رضي الله تعالى عنهما was present he, the slave, went to Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma and told him that Muawiyah offered one rak'ah of witter prayer. Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma said, Leave him for he was in the company of Allah's apostle. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In another narration narrated Abu, uh, Ibn Abi Mulaika, somebody said to Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, Can you speak to the chief of the believers, Muawiyah? as he does not pray except one rakah as witr. Ibn Abbas replied, he is a fiqih, meaning he is a learned man who can give religious verdicts. And he was a companion of the Prophet Narrated Humran ibn Abbas, Muawiyah said to the people, you offer a prayer which we, who were the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam never saw the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam offering and he forbade its offering and this was the two this was two rakats after the compulsory uh, asr, Salat al-Asr what we learn from this in general is the high status of Muawiyah radiallahu ta'ala anhu and all the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam just for being the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose them gave this, them this high uh, status and station and we love them for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we do not speak about their shortcomings as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned he said do not uh, do not mention the shortcomings or curse my companions in another narration do not curse my companions and if verily, if one of you had spent uh, the amount in weight in gold as a Mount Uhud, it would not be anything in, in comparison to the sacrifice of his companions, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and, and all of our mistakes. Anything I said that was correct was from uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. And may Allah bless us with tawfiq. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.